Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Ruger 1022, one of the most famous rifles the world has ever known. It's uh, been around since the mid 1960s, and there's I think around like 5 million of these have been sold, which is a pretty extensive number. And this is pretty much the gun a lot of people learn to shoot on. I know it for me, it was. Uh, one of the guns I learned on. I personally probably have close to 10,000 rounds through this rifle. We've had it in the family since uh, oh early to mid 90s, so it makes it you know 20, 25 years old, and uh, still looks pretty much almost new, which is amazing. But you know we never did anything crazy with it. This is a backyard plinker. It's a massively popular rifle. It's inexpensive. You used to be able to get these things for like 150 bucks. I think nowadays they're a little closer to 200 and some of the more uh, fancier versions uh, are closer to 300. They just, you know, they're reliable. They're great. They're pretty accurate for what they are. It's like a 18 plus inch barrel, semi-automatic with kind of a rotary magazine that comes with it. They have big, you know, high capacity magazines that go with them that are 25 and 30 and all kinds of neat stuff for these. All different kinds of kits you can buy for them. Different stocks, different configurations. Big heavy bull barrels for varmint. You name it. Just so many different ways you can set this rifle up. So many accessories out there. You can turn these things into really cool tactical rifles. You can leave them stock, you know, and use as a backyard plinker or a small game hunter or whatever. There's just such versatility in these. And there's so many out there and just so many people are so familiar with it. It's a great investment. It's kind of the one rifle, if you don't own it, you should just save up and get one. They really are fantastic. And even though I already have other, you know, I have a Savage semi-automatic 22. I still wanted this old family one and bought it off my relatives. And, you know, it's just, it's, you know, they're just, they're such fantastic rifles over the years. And there's so much you can do with them. And there's so many of them out there, and there's used ones. You can find them used, you can find them new, you can find all different kinds, different stocks. They're going to be in pretty much every gun store you go into. If they don't have a 1022 on the shelf, it's probably not a gun store. It's, you know, they're so common, and they're a great gun. And I love this gun in particular, you know, because I have a lot of history with it. But also because this is a gun my wife learned to shoot on as well. When she was a kid, her father had one. She is familiar with this gun. She knows how it works. She's very comfortable with it. This is a great gun when we go out shooting together that she enjoys shooting that. I don't have to help her. I don't have to give her any direction. And she's not afraid of it at all because she just she's fired thousands of rounds through one herself. It's great for kids. It's you know it's small, it's lightweight, it shoulders well, you know, so this is something you can teach your kids to shoot. It's it's a family gun. This is something you can bring with you. Your kids can shoot, your wife can shoot, you can shoot. Everybody can shoot and have a great time. And that's why they are such an important rifle for people to own just on that premise alone. You know, we oftentimes go for the more expensive, flashier rifles nowadays and we forget about the basics. We forget the 1022 is, you know, out there. That it's out there and it is such a versatile thing. This is something you can plink in the backyard, you can bring to the range, you know, you can do some small game hunting. Some people I know even, <laughs> you know, use these things to poach deer and all that. You know, a lot of people poach deer with 22s, so, um, you know, they have a great capacity, lots of accessories, everything you need to make a great gun and something that your whole family can enjoy. Because let's face it, I go to the range with an AK-47, you know, that's something my wife's not too comfortable with. She's not, you know, yeah, she's fired them. She likes them, but she's not comfortable with them. You know, she gets a little, you know, she definitely wouldn't want to be uh, unsupervised with it because it makes her a little nervous. It's a lot of firepower. It's, you know, a little more recoil than what she's used to. This is, this is nice for her. So it's a great addition. I wanted to show it to you guys because these things are just amazing. I, I showed it to you when I bought it way back in the, or, I don't know, a couple months ago now, and just want to do a little more in depth on it because they are such a fantastic little uh, little rifle. This one here, this one is uh, drilled and tapped for a scope, so I can put a scope on it. Has nice adjustable sights. 
wood's still in fantastic condition for how old this is, but we never really beat it. You know, even when we took it out hunting, you know, we always took care of it. Love this gun. Like I said, you're talking, you can see the, it's definitely, well, it's empty, number one. But you can see it's, it's definitely got a little wear on the inside because this thing's got so many rounds to it. And uh, that's another thing, too, guys. <laughs> I have not cleaned this since I was a teenager. I think my father cleaned it maybe two or three times over the years. But over all these years, all these rounds, we did not clean this gun hardly at all. It is mega reliable. You literally can go thousands of rounds in between cleanings and you're not going to have any problem. We literally just pull it out of the gun safe every so often, wipe it down with an oily rag and throw it back in. And, you know, every once in a while we would, uh, you know, clean out the, uh, the chamber with a wire brush and some solvent and get the gunk out of there. But we hardly ever cleaned the barrel. And you know, we really didn't see the need. It always worked great and fired great and didn't seem to hurt the accuracy too much. So if, uh, you don't like cleaning guns this is definitely one for you it, it stays reliable even after a lot of rounds so there you go guys i know it's not the, the most technical 1022 video out there just wanted to give some uh, opinions on it